Hello, Maris. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, hello. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. What about your day? How was it? Very busy. It was very busy, really. Did Today, you have visits? Uh huh. Today is I have better stress. <gasps> why, Maurice? <laughs> Yeah. Tell me why. Because, uh, because uh, today have a uh, deportation. You needed to report. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So I imagine that today was really stressful because you had a lot of things to do, right? Different things. Yeah. Yes, Maris. I, I understand. Okay. But now you feel more relaxed. Yeah. Yes. Okay, did you eat already? I am ready. Yes, you're ready. You eat, you yeah. have everything. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, let's see, we also have Claudia, we also have Pablo. I think that it is raining in some parts, right? In some places, it is raining. In algunos lugares está lloviendo. Creo que ahora le va a costar a algunos conectarse. Está lloviendo en algunos lugares. Yes. Uh, okay, so I see Claudia. Uh, good evening, Claudia. Pablo is trying to connect. Good evening. Is it raining where you are, Claudia? Excuse me? Is it raining where you are? No, not yeah. yet. No, yet, no. yeah, but in it, some places? It, it's only cloudy. Oh, yeah, in some places it's raining already. Yeah. Okay. Well, Pablo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. How are you? Do you feel better? ¿Se siente mejor? A little. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. All right. Well, guys, we are going to start with our class. And for today's agenda, we have the following uh, information. Okay. So we have the warm up. We are going to still cover unit four. And today we are going to cover present continuous versus will. We are going to talk about those two tenses. Then we are going to move to a speaking. We have a lot of a speaking. We also have grammar quiz and we have listening. Okay. So, okay, now as a warm up, we are going to start with some questions and I need to please support your idea, okay? So it says, your friend is coming to your country. So your friend is coming to El Salvador for a study, okay? For a study, but he or she is worried about the cost, about the money, right? What are the advices you can offer? What can you tell your friend? What can you advise? Okay, so give me your opinion, guys. Give me your opinions and give me your um, advice, okay? Think about it, okay? What advice would you give? Yeah, what advice would you give? Yes? Mm -hmm. So let's see. Maurice, what advice would you give? Eh, Morris, creo que no le escuchamos. No sé si está ah, yeah, yeah, okay. He retirado. Okay. Find a cheaper uh, at apartment. Okay, find a cheaper, okay, or a okay. Find a cheap apartment. Okay. A cheap apartment. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. What else, guys? What else? Mm -hmm. What yes. other advice? He is a, a cook. Oh, he needs to cook. He, he needs to, to cook. He needs to cook his own food. Okay, yes, yeah. absolutely. 
Mm -hmm. What other advice? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe he also needs to buy things in different places, right? Probably he needs to buy things in the supermarket and some others in just the market, right? Yes. Yeah. That could yeah. be another tip, right? So probably uh, meat and those type of things in the supermarket and maybe vegetables and different things that you can find in the market. You can go ahead and, and, and buy them right there. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Um, move in bicycle. Move in bicycles. Okay, could be. Yes. Mm, yes. Mm, or take the bus as well, right? Do not use a lot of Uber, right? Because if not, you are going to spend a lot of money because at least in San Salvador, it's really, really expensive sometimes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Another advice? Let me see. Well, I think that those are the most common ones, right? And this, and this one, cook, right? He needs to cook. Because if you buy food, mm, you are going to spend a lot of money, right? Even though sometimes you can buy food for $1 and a half or $2, but every single day buying food and food and food, it's really expensive, right? Okay, so now let's move. All right, so... Do you agree with the statement employees should be allowed to listen to music at work? Do you agree or disagree on this one? Employees should be allowed to listen to music at work. Yes or no? For me, teacher, yes. For me, I agree because uh, in some it helps them in their concentration. Okay. Yes, sometimes that is true. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes uh, listen to music can help you to concentrate in a better way. In my company, uh, music uh, or Mm. you play music okay so you know i think that um it is good it is good but you need to you need to be able to not listen to music in high volumes right because if not you're going to interfere right you're going to interfere maybe in in what others are doing right mm -hmm. So it depends. I think that if you listen to music with music with earphones, it's okay. But it is if it is too loud, sometimes it will not help. That's what I think, right? But it depends on the type of job that, that you have, of course. It depends because sometimes you listen to music the whole day at work, right? But it depends. It depends. Okay. So now let's move. Okay, so right now what we are going to do is the following, okay? We are going to work in pairs and we are going to discuss the following questions, okay? So what is meant by the term hybrid working? What is hybrid working, okay? And then what are the advantages and disadvantages of hybrid working? Yeah, I need you to please add at least three advantages and three disadvantages of hybrid working. Yes, so three and three. And also you need to give me a definition, all right, a definition of the term hybrid working. Yeah. 
So let me go ahead and create the rooms. Okay, so you can go ahead and, and work with your partner. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and then we are going to come back to discuss advantages, disadvantages in hybrid working. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. concept. Um, I'm going to move Morris with Emerson, okay? Yeah. Emerson, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? Very well. El concepto de hybrid working. Hybrid, 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 hybrid work. Eh, según Google yeah. todo lo sabe dice que es una combinación de trabajo en un lugar remoto para dar flexibilidad y apoyo al personal uh -huh. it's about giving employee and flexibility and autonomy yeah this is the concept teacher. This word at home. Yeah. Uh huh. Word at home. Advantage. Allows. Allows flexibility. Yeah, advantage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, advantage may be more commitment. What? Advantage may be more commitment. Mayor commitment. Compromiso. Keep uh, attention in, in the task. Uh -huh. The other is a productivity increase. Other Increase. Advantage, maybe lower salary. Don't pay the same if you work on sit on site. If you were on home. Uh -huh. There is a different salary. 
slower. Eh, yeah. That's a disadvantage. Eh, that's a yeah. That's a eh, eh, any advantage is the is more economic, but the company because no buy. Higiénico, ¿cómo se dice? Paper. Toilet. Higiénico. Toilet. ¿Pero? Toilet paper. Toilet paper o water. Ok. Y ahora lo gasto. Y te. Desavantage. Is I don't know to provide at the employee. No se puede supervisar a los empleados que están trabajando en casa. Yes. Maybe other disadvantage. Maybe uh, mm -hmm. can generate disconnection between the equipment when this the uh, communication is is complicated. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya ni la puedes contando. ¿no? Ah, sí. Atentarse a... Mayor Experience. Laboral, what do you say laboral teacher? Mejora la experiencia laboral. Um, it improves, it improves your work experience. Yeah. Okay, yes, I know that. Okay, let me know if you finish, okay? Thanks. Yes, me avisa cuando ya termine. It seems um, like it is going to rain. Creo que va a llover. It's raining now. It's raining? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where do you live? Do you live in San Salvador? No, I live in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. So no, in San Salvador it's not raining, but it's oh. really windy. Está haciendo mucho viento, pero no, no está lloviendo todavía. Okay. Is it raining a lot? ¿Está lloviendo bastante o no? No, more or less. Okay. Now it's calm. Okay. Okay. Was it warm in the afternoon? Uh huh. You finish? Fast. More, more, more calm. More time.
the other one, the uh, disadvantage is doesn't know always rise everything. I'm Henny. Um, advantage. Yes. How many adventures? One, yeah. two, three, four. And disadvantage three. Okay, you're ready. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, so guys, let me ask you, what is um, hybrid working? What is that term? How do you define hybrid working? What is it? Mm -hmm. Hybrid working, what is it? Yes, how do you define hybrid working guys? Oh, me teacher. Yes. Hybrid working is when uh, you have a flexible approach that combines working uh, on an off in an office or at home. Perfect. Okay. It is a combination. It is a combination, as um, Jose said, right? It is a combination um, of working in an office and also at home. Do you like hybrid working? Or no? Or do you think that, or do you prefer going to the, to the office every single day? In your case, George? Well, <clears throat> um, I like this um this type of work mm -hmm. uh, because uh, i told bernardo uh, has uh, many advantage uh, the first one is because mm -hmm. um for example like i i make the comparative with my work uh -huh. because I need to wake up very early in the morning. I need to travel for two hours to half hours every day. I come late um, in the afternoon uh, at 7 p.m. And if you have this type of work, uh, uh, you have the opportunity uh, uh, a little uh, you have a little time in your house and you uh, have the opportunity to uh, go to work and, and, and work um, in the many activities too mm -hmm. but uh, I like this type of work for me has a many advantage Okay, and can you think about some disadvantages? Yes, but uh, Bernardo says, says, for example, um, you can work uh, directly with the people every day, uh -huh. only in a moment. Okay. But for me, it's no, uh, no is necessary. Uh, you do you need you don't need to uh, stay with the with the people every day every day mm -hmm. but if it depends it depends 
what is the activity in your world. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yes, I think that mm, I agree. I agree. I think the hybrid working is really good. Okay. Mm, but sometimes you need to go to the office. I think that most of you go to the office, right? Most of you probably go to the office. But hybrid working, as George said, it gives you a balance sometimes, right? It gives you a balance. I think that we all should have this type of, of, of modality, right? Hybrid working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Um, Emerson, what do you think? What What can you tell me about hybrid working? What do you think are the advantages or disadvantages? What is your point of view? Well, I think I think uh, there is uh, a lot of disadvantages. Really? Okay. For Why? It, for, uh, for example, require uh, more com commitment commitment for okay. activities and, yes. and the communication is difficult between the teams yes yeah all this advantages is uh this organization okay this with, organization. The, with the partner okay mm -hmm. yes I agree. You know, I, I think that what you mentioned, it is really, really true. Okay. Um, well, but um, at the end, we need to organize our time, right? Whenever we are probably at home and we work from home. Yes, there are many distractions, right? And sometimes that can affect uh, the way that you work. But we need to have commitment, as you said before. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I think that the ones that are that are uh, from home are um, these type of jobs that are for system engineers, right? I thought those are most of the time remote. Yes. Yeah. So they do require a lot of commitment. Mm hmm Mm, well but i don't know because they they you know they pass the whole day in front of a computer and that is also stressful sometimes to be in front of the computer and and probably result in different tickets right or coding doing different things right but yes i think that there are disadvantages as you said before but there are many advantages as well right for hybrid working perfect guys so now let's move and we have a listening okay so it says listening comprehension so we are going to listen to a conversation and we are going to decide if the following statements are true or false okay so let me play it for you give me one second um yes give me one second okay Let me see. You also have it on the on the spreadsheet, okay? Just in case. But I'm going to play it right now. Okay. So let's listen. Hi. Remember me? Oh, yeah. Aren't you... Wait, aren't you the mother of my children? Yes. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> now that I've put them to bed, I'm great. Today was exhausting. Tell me about it. What time were you up? About 4.30. I need that early morning time to get myself together and actually do some work before it all goes to hell. Every night, I tell myself I'm going to do that. And every morning when the alarm goes off, I tell myself I need just a few more minutes of sleep. You're a night owl. I'm an early bird. It's just how we are. But I want to be an early bird and watch TV at night instead of doing the work I need to do. By the way, thanks for helping me out today. I owe you. Tomorrow, they're mine. It's fine. 
Apart from when Justin dropped his yogurt, I think it went pretty well. Oh, I don't think anyone even noticed the screaming child while I was presenting. And if they did, they probably didn't want to say anything in case they have their own children screaming on call in the future. I don't think I'm convinced about this hybrid working situation. Don't get me wrong, I love not having to commute every day. With my job, that's easily two hours of the day I get back. But organizing myself and kids and work? Yeah, it's a challenge. Some days I feel on top of it all, but there are days when I feel like I'm a terrible employee, a terrible father, and a terrible husband. Oh, honey, don't think like that. Trust me, you're a terrible husband every day, not just some days. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you where Becky hid the chocolate Nutella. I'll just go and buy more. Or the car keys. Fine, you're a wonderful husband on most days. I'll be wonderful tomorrow while you're in your meeting. What are you doing again? I'm just leading the meeting, but the CEO is going to be there. I just have to keep order, but it would be difficult with Becky shouting at Justin in the background. I'll take them to the park. Don't worry. Thanks. Was Justin all right earlier? Yes, he calmed down. I don't know what to do about his phone. I had to tell him several times to get off it and do his homework. But then, of course, I'm on my phone texting Jeff about work. So I felt like a real hypocrite. He can't use his phone, but I can use mine. I don't know what message we're sending to kids there. I think we're going to have to sit them down together and explain what we do a bit. They've just had to adapt to us being around all the time, and it's weird for them. I don't think we've ever really explained the situation. You've got a point. Maybe if tomorrow we... Okay. Do you need me to play it again? Or do you have the answers, true or false? Yes? Okay, so let's see. The conversation happens in the morning, true or false? True. True? true. Is it true, guys? False. It is false. I'm going to play it again, okay? But listen to it. Pay attention, okay? Hi, remember me? Oh, yeah. Aren't you... Wait, aren't you the mother of my children? Yes. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> now that I've put them to bed, I'm great. Today was exhausting. Tell me about it. What time were you up? About 4.30. I need that early morning time to get myself together and actually do some work before it all goes to hell. Every night I tell myself I'm going to do that. And every morning when the alarm goes off, I tell myself I need just a few more minutes of sleep. You're a night owl. I'm an early bird. It's just how we are. But I want to be an early bird and watch TV at night instead of doing the work I need to do. By the way, thanks for helping me out today. I owe you. Tomorrow, they're mine. It's fine. Apart from when Justin dropped his yogurt, I think it went pretty well. Oh, I don't think anyone even noticed the screaming child while I was presenting. And if they did, they probably didn't want to say anything in case they have their own children screaming on call in the future. I don't think I'm convinced about this hybrid working situation. Don't get me wrong, I love not having to commute every day. With my job, that's easily two hours of the day I get back. But organizing myself and kids and work? Yeah, it's a challenge. Some days I feel on top of it all, but there are days when I feel like I'm a terrible employee, a terrible father, and a terrible husband. Oh, honey, don't think like that. Trust me, you're a terrible husband every day, not just some days. Just for that? I'm not going to tell you where Becky hid the chocolate Nutella. I'll just go and buy more. Or the car keys. Fine. You're a wonderful husband on most days. I'll be wonderful tomorrow while you're in your meeting. What are you doing again? I'm just leading the meeting, but the CEO is going to be there. I just have to keep order, but it would be difficult with Becky shouting at Justin in the background. I'll take them to the park. Don't worry. Thanks. Was Justin all right earlier? Yes, he calmed down. I don't know what to do about his phone. 
I had to tell him several times to get off it and do his homework. But then, of course, I'm on my phone texting Jeff about work, so I felt like a real hypocrite. He can't use his phone, but I can use mine. I don't know what message we're sending to kids there. I think we're going to have to sit them down together and explain what we do a bit. They've just had to adapt to us being around all the time, and it's weird for them. I don't think we've ever really explained the situation. You've got a point. Maybe if tomorrow we... Okay, so let's see. The conversation happens in the morning that is false, right? It is false. Number two, the mother is usually awake before the father, true or false? That is? True. 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 Okay, that is true. And in the conversation, they, they said, right? You are a night owl and I am an early bird. What is the difference? If you are an early bird, that means that you love to wake up early. Okay? Yeah? Que es madrugador. But if you are a night owl, is that you love to work at night. Is that you feel better at night. Okay? Si usted es un night owl, básicamente porque le gusta más trabajar de noche. Okay? Yes. So now, number three. The father gave an online presentation today. True or false? True. That is true. The mother works from home every day. That is? False. False, okay. The mother is the CEO of her company. That is? False. False, False, right? The father plans to take the children outside tomorrow. True. That is? True. True. And the last one. The father feels as tough he doesn't follow the rules he set for his son. True. That is true, right? That is true. Very good, okay? Listen, you guys, okay? Now, let's move and let's talk about vocabulary, okay? So, guys, let's see. Let's talk about those type of uh, phrases that we have right there. And the first one is going to be detrimental. What is the meaning of detrimental? What is it? In Spanish, what is detrimental? Yeah. So, something harmful? Something harmful. Okay, very good. Yes. So, detrimental is actually something perjudicial. Detrimental. Okay. Algo que lo va a perjudicar. So detrimental and the correct definition is going to be very harmful or potentially damaging. Okay, number two, what is minimize? What is it? What is minimize? Reduce the negative effects of something. Correct. It is reduce the negative effects of something. Yes. What about distressed? What is distressed? What is it? Mm -hmm. What is distress? What is this? Uh -huh. give, give something less important. Are you sure? Or minimize. No. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, maybe say or do something to make someone feel less worried or scared. Uh, let her see. Let her see. Okay. So, not exactly. Ah, I'm. Distress. If you say, I am distressed. Oh. I am distressed. I am feeling a great worry. Mm -hmm. Excellent. 
I am feeling uh, a great or a great worry and panic, okay? So what is mitigate? What is it? Oh my God, guys, creo que se ve la luz. Okay, what is mitigate? We use the negative effects of something. Yeah, correct, okay, yeah. mitigar, reduce, okay, reducir. What is the meaning of boundary? Boundary? Well, boundary, guys, is basically, um, le dicen a uno, tenés que poner límites, all right? Tienes que poner límites. So, boundary es límite. Por eso es que se ve boundaries. You need to set boundaries with people, okay? You need to set, poner límites. So, it is going to be letter D, all right? It is a limit of something abstract, such as behavior, subject or area of activity okay what is the meaning of expectation what is expectation a uh, belief in the way someone should act or perform in a particular situation correct and what is reassured reassure in spanish is Reafirmar algo. ¿Ok? Letter C. Letter C. Say or do things to make someone feel less worried or scared. Right? You need to reassure. As many times as you should, guys. You need to reassure different things. Right? So, what about number eight? Internalize. Internalize. Observe a particular action and Copy it consciously or unconsciously to make it a part of one's nature. Internalize, right? So, guys, vocabulary. Uh, detrimental, perjudicial. This is a really common word, right? Detrimental. There are many things that can be detrimental for you, for you and your health, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's move, yeah? And now in pairs, we are going to discuss the following questions. And we are going to use the vocabulary that we have learned. So what habits, yeah, do you have or have you had in the past which are detrimental to your health, yeah? When you start a new job, what are your expectations from the employer? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you had to reassure someone who was upset or worried? What happened, right? When you meet someone new, what boundaries, I guess a minute, boundaries, limites, what boundaries do you have with topics of conversation. Sometimes people say, yes, when I meet someone new, sometimes I don't talk about religion. I don't talk about politics, right? Because we all have different point of view on that. People sometimes say that, no, I don't talk about that because that is a topic that I don't actually uh, talk about. Number five. What behaviors did you internalize from the people responsible for you when you're when you were growing up? And the last one, what kind of situations have caused you to feel distressed in the past? Re uh, remember the, the topic that we studied yesterday, guys. Distress is stress. Okay, distressed significa estrés. Yeah. So now, let's practice. We are going to practice for around five minutes, okay? But I want you to at least uh, make the questions and pronounce the vocabulary, okay? Yeah? So let's go.
Can you share the presentation? Okay, I will download. Um, I have about. <laughs> what have you have for? Or have you had in the past which are detrimental to your health? Uh, ejemplo, ¿qué hábitos tenías en el pasado que podían dañar tu salud? En el pasado, por ejemplo, no use the max when the when the when I was eh, pandemia yeah. uh, I don't I don't use tapabocas I didn't I didn't I didn't use uh -huh. I didn't sí, yeah. I, I didn't tapabocas no sé cómo se dice in the pandemic you didn't use the face yeah. mask yeah Maurice <gasps> why <laughs> Yeah. Never. I don't like. I don't like. Face mask. Yeah. Face mask. Yeah. Yes, you I... never had that COVID. Mm. Maurice. Yeah. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Maurice. Three times? Yeah. Three times. <gasps> Maurice. Oh my God. Inmune se hizo. Okay. Prácticamente. Okay. And you, Jorge? Well, when I was young, I smoked. I used to smoke a lot. Yeah. For um, more or less 15, 15 years. George, really? A lot of years. Yes, because one day I decide to uh, run and um, uh, uh, in this moment, well, I finish uh, this. Uh, what what do you mean, Bicio? Uh, how do you say bad habit? Bad, bad habit, uh, yes. In this moment, uh, uh, I... I uh, I, I uh, yes <laughs> okay but nowadays no anymore George no okay very no, good I I have um nine years without smoking without smoke yes okay 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 and you now in my case, uh, <laughs> uh, before I have many things to do, and I got out of my bed uh, very ill, very very late, very late, and I just sleep uh, maybe one hour or two hours or sometimes. I didn't sleep anything. No. So, yes. How many years? Uh, many years because um, when I was studying, uh, studying, okay. And uh, when I was studying um, in the university, and then when I when I was um, work, <laughs> and then when I was studying work. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, I think that um, just this year is the first uh, that I sleep um, 
normally or yes maybe not normally but a lot <laughs> more <laughs> a yes. lot more yes. yes oh my god Nelly and do you think that that has affected you mm -hmm. okay, I got used to it I got used to it do it I could just do it um I I don't think that um that affects me but um um a few weeks ago mm -hmm. I I I repeat that one night and yes that night um um, and uh, the other day, it, I I felt very tired and okay. I I felt bad. <laughs> yes, Nelly, because you know, sleeping is really essential for your brain. Yes, you should sleep, Nelly, because maybe <laughs> you don't notice the consequences right now, but probably in the future, yes. So you should sleep. Yes. Try to drink something to relax yourself, right? And then you go to bed and try to, to sleep. Uh -huh. Yes, um, and the problem was that I don't, uh, I didn't have a time. And I work, I work in the day and I study at night. And the last year, um, I, I choose oh i care i care um my 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 grandparents uh yes uh because they're sick sick okay yes and um uh, it, it was okay the last year it, it was very difficult mm -hmm. every okay. and everything and and este bueno El año pasado regresé, no sé cómo se dice. Um, oh, I finished my class. I finished, I finished, I finished university last year. Yes, I finished university last year. Okay. And I will graduate this year. Okay. And, um, well, my, my, my grandparents, um, they they die, mm -hmm. so um, after that, um, I I I uh, I try to have my mind very very busy. Yes, or didn't think in anything, and mm -hmm. I I stayed. Um, busy and, and all things I, I I I didn't have a, a lot of time yes okay got it all right but now you are going to graduate right so you should try to um probably feel a little bit um I would say relax right so you can get to sleep mm -hmm. yes but, yes okay now we got it all right now guys when you start a new job what are your expectations from the employer what do you think um, for me teacher yes my expectation is uh, for me to be the best and have a better salary yes of course right mm -hmm. For me too, teacher, because um, when I start in the new position in the company, mm -hmm. well, I think um, have a better salary, but also learn the many activities in this area because um when i started in this company it was in packaging and delivering 
and right now I I am a production manager is mm -hmm. is a little different okay all right so a salary increased right yes okay yes okay and you Nelly for me um my expectation are uh, a good uh, a good environment, a good salary, and um, have an opportunity to to grow and do something that makes me feel really happy and proud um, of what I doing of what I'm doing. Yes. Okay, yes. I think that we value different type of things, right? Whenever we are starting a new job. Yeah. And when was the last time you had to reassure someone who was upset or worried? Mm -hmm. Como reafirmar algo, guys. When was the last time you had to reassure something? Do you remember? The last time? Yeah, to be sure. So. Um, I have a co-worker. And a worker? She, yes. And she had uh, trouble with, um, with her boyfriend. Yes. And sometimes uh, she, she passed uh, very bad. And so... Um, and sometimes I I have to uh reassure 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 reassure, uh, reassure to her reassure her reassure her and say something that um uh, positive yeah that is really difficult sometimes right because. Yeah, you 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 just need to reassure things to uh people, but sometimes that helps, but not like as we would, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you, Maris? Uh, uh research. Reassure? Uh huh. Something. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, this day. Even uh, colleague who made a mistake for the export, but it was sold today. Okay, okay, but you reassured that it was just a yeah. mistake. Okay, okay, perfect. And you, George, when was the last time you had to reassure someone who was upset or worried? Mm, when I was trouble with my with a a coworker for the other area. Oh my god! And I remember yes, I I remember I I had a a problem with a supervisor of warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yes, in in my work and uh, in this moment we need to to talk a lot of. Uh, his activities and um, we have in this moment uh, many troubles with uh, different situation mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, please uh, um, I don't know what what uh, what can I say in in English son los gajes del oficio son los gajes uh, so, uh, no, no sé like cómo the, like the troubles, como los yeah. problemas. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, those are the troubles of of the profession. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Now, guys, when you meet someone new, what boundaries do you have with topics of conversation? Do you have boundaries with topics of conversation, guys? Um, boundaries are limites. Yes, Limit. como limites o limitantes, right? Usted dice, no, de eso no hablo, okay? 
maybe my personal life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Personal life. Okay. Okay. Very good. What else? Morris? Uh, for me, don't talk uh, about politics. Politics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, politics, because sometimes yeah, people yeah. are really <laughs> fanatic, right? Uh -huh. And the personal. Uh, personal life. Yes. Personal life. Yes, of course, right? And you, George, do you have boundaries? Yes, three um, specific. The personal <laughs> life, the politics, and the religion. Oh, my God. Okay, so, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that those three are really, really important that you don't probably talk uh, about that with people that maybe, you know, sometimes they take things too personal, yeah. right? And mm, that is really, really difficult sometimes, okay? All right, so what behaviors do you internalize from the people responsible for you when you were growing up? What is the meaning of internalize? Internalize means adquirir, guys. Interiorizar. Que usted adquirió. ¿Qué comportamientos? Tell me, uh, what behaviors do you think? Teacher, I, I, uh, I internalized, right, Bath? I internalized uh, patience. I internalized to be responsible. I internalize to be an angry teacher. Okay. What what behaviors do you internalize? Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, for me, uh, I internalize uh, the responsibility. 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 And the um, Comprehension. And? Comprehension. 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 Okay, understanding. And, uh, hmm. and uh, patience. And patience. 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 Okay. All right. Very good. And you, Nelly? Um, in my case, I think that um, responsibility and mm -hmm. it. Um, Values or morals? I don't oh, know. yes, morals or values. Um, but I think that um, the way I grew up, I, I grew up when I was a child. Okay. Um, I think that I learned to be independent. Independent. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. And you, George? Uh, well, I uh, a few a few minutes I told the my bad habits, and wow. I think um I can internalize uh, when I have a, a reaction about my health, and uh, I don't make the uh, this one anymore. Okay, yeah. very good. Excellent. Okay, and the last one. What kind of situations have caused you to feel distressed in the past? Maybe last week. Let's talk about last week. What kind of situations have caused you to feel distressed last week? Any event from last week? Last week, I have a um, headache. Headache, okay. Yes, um, last Saturday. Why? Um, because of work? I don't know. I I have a migraine. 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 Some, yes, and sometimes I I I have a a head attack. Oh my god! Okay. Yes. Nelly, but it's because you don't sleep well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so Maurice, what about you? Uh, in my case, uh, when I, uh, when 
when my wife or children get sick. Oh my God, yes. Maris, okay. And you, George? Mm, every day when oh I go to my work, my the, God, uh, yeah, the okay. traffic is terrible in the morning. This is the, um, the lot of uh, stressful to me in my life every day. Yes, I imagine, right? <laughs> okay, George, you just wake up and you think of the traffic and then yeah. there is a headache, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, well, I think that that is something that mm, it is really common, but I, I understand you. It is terrible, terrible, but terrible. Okay. So let's go to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Yeah, let's go back. Thank you, okay. Okay, guys. So I was practicing with some of you, okay? So we did have a really good talk. So right now we are going to continue with more vocabulary. And now let's talk about what do you do on vacation? So what is picture number one, guys? Picture number one is, let me see. Picture number one is? It's, it's, it's a, number two. Some base, some base on the beach, right? Number three. What is number three? By souvenirs. By souvenirs. Okay, perfect. What about picture number four? Go skiing. Go skiing. Mm. Take photos. No, no. The no second. Fine. Abajo souvenir. Go sightseeing. Okay. Sightseeing. Sight okay. Okay. Number five is? Take photos. Take photos. Number six? Go, Go skiing. Go skiing. Skiing. Yes. What about number um seven? Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Checking, checking in a hotel. Checking. Checking at a hotel. Correct. And number eight. Have fun. Have uh, fun. And number nine. Go. Go, go swimming. Swimming. Okay. So let me ask you, what do you do on vacation? What do you do, guys? From those activities, none. Uh, depends. Depends. Um how many days how uh, let's say one week one week um okay the last holidays uh, was uh easter week yes um, i i i been out really <laughs> just two days um one day uh with my family went to the cinema okay for seeing um Marie Carr movie oh, and really? okay. one day with a friend uh we went to Guatemala perfect uh, yeah. mm -hmm. okay you did go out okay yes perfect um all right what about you uh Juan Jose, what do you do on vacation? Um, sometimes I go to the beach and other times uh, we go with my family to some mountain. Okay. That's what we do on vacation. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to say the attendance. Let me see. No, this one is not the one. Let me see, where is it? Okay. Here we go, guys. Give me one second. Yeah, it's raining a lot. 
Okay. So, Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María Guerrero. Claudia. No? Okay. So, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Karen. Okay. Um, Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Okay. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Kenya. No, Kenya. Okay. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marian. Marina Jensi. Marina. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, Nelly Lily Beth Andrade. Yeah. Nelly. Present. Norma Patricia. Norma. Norma. No, Norma. Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Pablo. Tatiana Ivon Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Marisela Ramírez. Wendy. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Present. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Just let me share my screen. Um, Pablo and Carla, okay. Um, okay, Emerson, please be Patrick and Nelly be Claire. Hello. Hi, Claire. It's Patrick. How are you? Hi, Patrick. I'm fine. I'm on vacation in Italy. Really? Look, you. I am, I am at work. What are you doing? Right now, I'm relaxing on the beach. How was the weather? It's fantastic. It's hot and sunny. It hardly ever rains here. How's the weather in London? At the moment, it's raining. It is it's the family with you. Yes. It's the family with you. Yes, the kids are reading pizza right now. Are they having fun? Yes, they are. And is the husband with you? No, he isn't. He's checking in at the hotel. Perfect. Where is Claire, guys? Where is Claire? In the beach. Okay. Yeah. She is on the beach in Italy, okay? And how is the weather in Italy? Hot and sunny. Hot and sunny. Hot and sunny. Yes. And how is the weather in London? It's raining. It is raining. People say that in London, it rains most of the time. Right? I'm not really sure, but people say that, that it rains almost always in London. Yes. Um, is she with her family? Yes. Yes, she is. What are her children eating? Pizza. They are eating pizza. And where is her husband? She's checking in at the hotel. Yes, he's checking in at the hotel. 
Perfect. Okay, guys. Now let's move to grammar. Okay. So basically, guys, we are going to cover the present continuous. Um, when do we use the present continuous? Well, the present continuous is the one that we use to talk about things that are happening at the moment of speaking. So things that we are doing right now, or we can also use the present continuous to talk about future plans. Future plans that are um, arranged, okay? That you know and that you are sure that you are going to do, yes? And we have affirmative forms. Uh, Maurice, help us reading affirmative forms. Affirmative form. I am working. Yes. You are working. Yes. She, she it is working. Yes. We are working. You are working. They are working. Thank you. So in the negative form, I'm not walking. You aren't walking. He or she or it isn't walking. We aren't walking. You aren't walking. And they aren't walking. Emerson, help us reading questions. Am I working? Are you working? Is he, she, it working? Are we working? Are you working? Are they, are they working? Walking, perfect. So now guys, short answers. Am I walking? Yes, I am. Are you walking? Yes, you are. Is she walking? Yes, she is. Am I walking? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Are you walking? No, you aren't. Is he walking? No, he isn't. Yeah. So remember that for the present continuous, we use the verb in the ing. Que no se le olvide, okay? Porque a veces se nos olvida que tenemos que utilizar el verbo en el ing y decimos I am walk or I am, or, I am studying. No, I am studying. I am uh, walking. I am eating, I am thinking, I am copying, whatever, but with the ing. ing, present continuous, okay? So now, what are the people doing in each, in each picture, okay? So picture number one, guys. Picture number one. She's what reading. is she doing? Reading. She is reading. reading. Number two. Um, she is playing. She plays soccer. She is playing soccer. Playing soccer. Perfect. Number three. She's drinking. She is drinking. Uh, a delicious. Yeah. A delicious. Uh, juice. All right. Okay. A cocktail. Yes. Number four. What is she doing? Eating. She is uh, eating. She is eating. Yes, mm. she is eating probably sushi. I don't know. Number five. What they are they doing? TV. They are they, watching. They TV. are watching. They are watching a movie, etc. And number six. What are they doing? They dancing. They are dancing. Okay. They are dancing. Yes, perfect, guys. Now, let's talk about present continuous for future plans, yeah? Future, yes? So, um, Nelly, help us reading everything. Okay, present continuous for future plans. We use a present continuous tense to talk about things we plan to do in the future. We usually usually include times words and expression to show when we plan to do things. Examples, positive statements. We are going shopping this afternoon. Yes. I'm meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow. They are playing football on Saturday. Examples, negative statement. I'm not working tomorrow. It's my day off. I'm not cooking tonight. I'm eating out. 
I'm eating now. Thank you. Okay, guys. So basically, the present continuous is for us to talk about future plans. And as you can see right here, it says, we are going shopping this afternoon. ¿Por qué utilizamos el presente continuous y no el going to? Vaya, en un punto usted se va a dar cuenta que el going to no es necesario utilizarlo en el inglés, a pesar que es bien importante que usted lo sepa. Sin embargo, una oración con el going to de un plan a futuro sería We're going to go shopping this afternoon. Fíjense bien, ¿ok? Eso sería la misma oración con el going to. We are going to go shopping this afternoon. ¿Sí? Pero, ¿cuál suena mejor y cuál es más corta? Porque el objetivo es que usted hable mejor y hable más fluido. Entonces, cuando usted básicamente ha planeado algo a futuro y que usted está 100% seguro que se va a dar, no es necesario utilizar el going to. En lugar del going to, usted va a utilizar el present continuous. ¿Sí? Entonces tenemos el ejemplo. We're going shopping this afternoon. En lugar de, we're going to go shopping this afternoon. I am meeting my friend or I am meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow. En lugar de, I am going to meet a friend for lunch tomorrow. Sí, es más corto. Yes? So that's what you need to remember. Eso es lo primero que tiene que recordar. Ok? So si yo le pregunto a usted, What are you going to do after this class? What are you going to do after this class, Nelly? I am going to the bed. I am going to the bed. Ok? Very good. Yeah. So, um, Emerson, do you have any plans for this weekend? What are you going to do? Invent. Invent. I'm going, going to play, play soccer. Okay. Now, I am playing soccer. Playing soccer. I am playing soccer this coming uh, weekend. Okay. Yes, guys, it's raining a lot, okay? Casi no le escucho, pero yes. Okay. Now we also have example, examples questions, okay? What are you doing at the weekend? Esas son las preguntas como que claves que le pueden hacer, okay? What are you doing at the weekend? Are you coming to my party tomorrow? Okay, so what are you, do, what are you doing at the weekend? I am going to the beach. I am eating pizza. I am having a party. I am watching a movie. Yes, etc. Recuerde, el going to, um, sí, utilícelo, pero es mejor utilizar el presente continuous para planes a futuros. And um, will, yes. Right. Con will, lo que sucede con will es que will es básicamente. Eh, un futuro incierto, ¿sí? Es un futuro incierto, entonces podemos utilizar will cuando usted no está segura de lo que va a hacer. Por ejemplo, um, I will go to the beach, pero no estoy 100% segura que iré. Entonces utilizo will, pero si usted está segura de que va a ir al, al, a la playa, entonces tiene que decir, I'm going to the beach. ¿Ok? Basically, That is the difference. Y aparte de eso, que tenemos más usos, eh, por ejemplo, cuando se están tomando decisiones espontáneas, que utilizamos will. Uh -huh. vale. Ahora, deme las oraciones, guys, de cada imagen, con presente continuos. Present continuous. Number one. James. James is going. James is going to school on foot. On foot, ok. Mire cómo se dice a pie. On foot. On foot, a pie. 
Number two. I am working in a mine. Excellent. I am working in a mine. Number three. You are rowing. You are rowing. rowing. Yes. What is rowing? Remar. Mire, remando. Remar. Number four. She? She is looking she is for so a treasure. She is looking for the treasure. Yes. Number five. We are playing high and kick. And sick. 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 Okay, con the little. Six. High and sick. Number six. I am driving a tractor. A tractor, correct. Number seven. The butterfly, the butterfly is flying. The butterfly is flying. Number eight. He is walking on the moon. On the moon. Perfect. Number nine. You. You are cleaning the kitchen. Perfect. And number ten. She is cooking. She is cooking. Yes, very good, okay? So, pressing continues, okay? Pressing continues. Let's see. Okay. Um, Juan, please be Felix. And um, George, please be Julia. Okay. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Yes. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning learning training on kitchen safety brochures mm -hmm. this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends in a conference tonight. See you later. Okay, perfect. All right. So in this case, guys, a pronunciation first. Procedures, procedures, okay, procedures. Mm -hmm. Procedimientos, okay, procedures, procedimientos, okay. So now, um, let's see. Let's look at the conversation and complete the sentences. Well, number one, it is? I'm having. having. I'm having. Yes, I'm having a training next week. Number two. Uh, I'm, I'm, taking. I'm taking. Mm -hmm. Number three. I, I will, will ask. ask. And number four. I'm meeting. I'm meeting some friends, okay? Very good. Yes, okay. All right, guys. Vocabulary. Uh, George, help us reading number one. Nelly, number two. Morris, number three. And Tatiana, number four. Okay, number one. It involves one employee following another employee, like a shadow, to learn all the aspects of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as part of their introduction. induction. Supergenetic um, course, courses, courses. Course. The staff will join employees from other business on the course. Some of these course are designed to achieve or come towards a particular recognized qualification. Okay. It's involved in formal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time to come face to face 
engineering. Mm -hmm. Use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have mentor. A mentor. Okay. And the last one. It, it allows people to learn at their own place and to uh, open new knowledge immediately. The training must be technically able to do the talk and have the parents, parents, the teach or coach, coach. Okay. All right, guys, pronunciation first. All right, so those are plural. So we should say businesses, businesses, courses, courses, involves, involves. Yes, now apply, apply, knowledge. Recuerde esta, la A desaparece. Y decimos technically, technically. Task, patience, and coach, coach. Okay? All right, guys. So now, according to what we have read, what is the description that we have on the first paragraph? Is it of the shelf training courses, in-house training, shadowing, or in mentoring? Shadowing, the first. Yes, it is shadowing. Number two. In the house training. In the house training? Um, of the shelf training course. Yes. Of the shelf training courses. Okay. Number three. Um, mentoring. Mentoring. Okay. Four and. In house training. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. In the last one, number two, okay, in-house training, that is correct, okay, so basically guys, the in-house training is the training que usted recibe, que recibe en su trabajo, okay, it's in-house training, yeah, the shadowing, como le dicen en español, creo que le dicen sombreo, Creo que así le dicen. Shadowing. Ok. El sombreo. Mentoring. Obviamente, pues tenemos que tener a un mentor. ¿verdad? Es un training que se recibe con un mentor. ¿Sí? Ahora. Off the shelf training courses. Esos son cursos genéricos. Ok. Eh, esos Off the shelf training courses puede ser en línea o puede ser de diferentes maneras, pero son cursos genéricos, ¿ok? Son temas bien, bien, bien genéricos. Todos los que usted ve en ocasiones, ¿verdad? Que se pueden impartir genéricamente, que no va enfocado a un grupo establecido, son off the shelf training courses, ¿ok? All right, so now... It's time for us to take the quizzes. Okay, let's take the quizzes. We are going to take um, the general knowledge quiz, okay? So this quiz, guys, is basically about different topics, okay? It's about different topics, and you have 20 questions, okay? Son 20 preguntas, yes? Um, It's about all of the things that you have studied, okay? De todo lo que usted ha visto. Yeah? Son 20 preguntas. Um, open the link, please. Open it. And let's take it, okay? So, since there are 20 questions, I'll give you um, 10 minutes, okay? Or nine minutes, just for you to finish with that. 
ya.
Okay, guys. So let's take the listening exam. Okay, the listening one. Um, I think I think that this one. I'm not sure if. But okay, so the passcode is listening. Okay. So listening. Let me see where is the. Yes. Okay, open it. And let me know once you're if I can play the recording. I'm going to play it um twice, okay? I think that is enough. So ready? You're in? Wait. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think all of us would agree that being healthy emotionally and physically are really important to our overall well-being. So, Emily, when you think about a healthy lifestyle, whether it be physically, emotionally, whatever it might be, what would be one or two things that you would think would be extremely important to keep in mind when maintaining a healthy lifestyle? One of the biggest parts of maintaining a healthy lifestyle is self-care. It's not something that's often talked about. A lot of times workaholics are admired and it's something that people will strive to be as a workaholic. But as a chronic workaholic, I can tell you that it's not, it's not something I really enjoy. And maintaining self-care and time for yourself is really important. And you mentioned about working a lot, but self-care and what could be one or two things that you could do for self-care. And they could be just some things that are just really simple, but you have to put them into your schedule. Something that is really important for me for self-care is sitting down and reading a book or watching a movie and just trying to shut off everything else going in my brain. Very key indeed. Okay, uh, the second time. I think all of us would agree that being healthy emotionally and physically are really important to our overall well being. So, Emily, when you think about a healthy lifestyle, whether it be physically, emotionally, whatever it might be, what would be one or two things that you would think would be extremely important to keep in mind when maintaining a healthy lifestyle? One of the biggest parts of maintaining a healthy lifestyle is self-care. It's not something that's often talked about. A lot of times workaholics are admired and it's something that people will strive to be as a workaholic. But as a chronic workaholic, I can tell you that <laughs> it's, not, it's not something I really enjoy. And maintaining self-care and time for yourself is really important. And you mentioned about working a lot, but self-care and what could be one or two things that you could do for self-care. And it, they could be just some things that are just really simple, but you have to put them into your schedule. Something that is really important for me for self-care is sitting down and reading a book or watching a movie and just trying to shut off everything else going in my brain. Very key indeed. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. So, well, let's continue just with uh, the information that we still have left. All right. Um, so let's finish with the information from the book. And we have will versus present progressive. All right. So Juan, help us reading will and Emerson present progressive. Okay. Will. 
it is used to talk about future intention that are decided at the time of speaking, spontaneous offers, promises, and decision. I will help with the document. They will ask about a learning option. We will be on time. Thank you. Present progressive. It is used when the plans and our adjustment have been made. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. The servers are having a training this weekend. He is meeting the bus at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. Okay. Guys, first of all, pronunciation. Okay. So this one is going to be promises. Yeah. Promises. Promise. Promises. This one is going to be arrangements, arrangements, yeah? In this case, Los Angeles, yeah? So, yes, as I was, I was explaining before, guys, we use will to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking. So that means spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions, spontaneous Espontaneo. Will espontaneo. Now, present progressive, it is used when plans and arrangements have been made. Cuando usted ya se ha anticipado a un plan y lo ha hecho, ha seguido un orden, está organizado ya. Yeah. So, now, let's complete this short dialogue, right? In some sentences. It says, Letter A, would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice. Okay. Lo que les explicaba anteriormente, cuando usted va a un restaurante para ordenar, decimos, I will have a hamburger. I will have a pizza. I will have orange juice, en este caso. Number two, I can't come with you on Sunday. I I can't come with you on Sunday. So that means that I have already a plan. So, sería will or present progressive? I have you. I am having, I am having a training at the restaurant. Porque ya está planeado. Por eso que yo no te puedo acompañar el Sunday. Porque ya tengo planeado un entrenamiento. Number three. You look tired. Offer. I will help you finish the documents. Cuando usted ofrece su ayuda a alguien, es importante que utilice will. Por eso que le dice, I will help you. Porque es ayuda, es una oferta. Usted se ofrece. Yes. Eh, Yes. Number four, the kitchen manager is flying. Is flying. Is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. It is planned. Ya está planeado que va a viajar. Yes. Number five, the owner to talk to us about training solutions. The owner. Is, Welcome. is coming, is coming, okay? Because it is planned, porque ya ha sido planeado. It is coming, okay? And the last one, number six. He isn't working. Isn't working next week. That is correct, okay? Very good. Just don't forget. Will a spontaneous, present continuous plan. See? Okay. Before we go, guys, let's just ask you a couple of questions, okay? So, what do you think is the most important thing that parents should teach their children? 
yes. What do you think is the most important thing? The ones that are parents are ready. What do you think is the most important thing? To be honest. To be honest. With other people. Okay, excellent. To be honest with others. Absolutely. It is really important. What else? Huh? Help when the all others need. Okay, help when others need it. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. What else? Okay, so Emerson said honesty, right? Should be honest and also to be helpful. Okay. Yes. What else, guys? Uh, respect. For respect. People. Respect others. Okay. Mm hmm. What else? Mm hmm. Discipline. To be disciplined, right? To be commitment, uh -huh. to be persistent, right? Uh -huh. For positive things, right? Yes, okay, very good. Now, okay, so which one of the three occupations do you think is the hardest, okay? Yes, government worker, doctor, or police officer, which one is the hardest, the most difficult? Uh, for me, one. I think doctor. Doctor, why doctors? Uh, because uh, they have to be very careful what they do. Uh, they have people lives in their hands. In their hands. Mm. Okay, doctors. All right. Somebody else? Well, I do support Jose's opinion, right? Doctors, probably. Mm, but it depends because also police officers. Well, sometimes, right? But I think that it's... It's 50 and 50 because doctors, as you mentioned before, they do have people's uh, lives on their hands, right? But police officers as well, right? So, yeah, 50 and 50, I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so... Well, this one is the one that I asked you yesterday, right? If the government if the government wants to invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worthwhile? In your case, Emerson, which one is the one that you think that is the worthwhile? Well, in my opinion, the fierce area will Land. be that is education. Oh, education. Why education? Because uh, the society needed the education for uh, have advances mm -hmm. and uh, increases uh, okay. in your uh, abilities. In, in your abilities, in your skills. In your skills. Okay, uh, repeat after me, Emerson, and say society. 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 Sociedad. Society. Very good. Okay. And the last opinion. Uh, what do you think, Carlos Vladimir? Which one is the most worthwhile? Uh, in my case, in education. Education as well? Why? Because it's necessary to uh, improve the education in the country. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Future generation. Okay. I think that one is the point, right? For future generations. Absolutely, because if no, we are not going to see any advance. It's difficult, guys. But okay, so I agree that it's really important to invest in education. All right, guys, uh, just because of the time, we're going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow, and I hope you have a great night. Okay, go ahead and rest, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Good, Take time, care. Bye good bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, guys.